I just heard a Duramax diesel pass by. Anyways, I'm at the car show filming. And there's a sweet Chevelle SS right here at the traffic light. So, we're just going to look around and check out some awesome rides. Because this is YouTube worthy. Like this awesome Camaro ZL1. This is a 2013. No, we gotta keep going. And then there's another Camaro next to this one. It's a convertible. 2015. This is the same Camaro from a moment earlier, but I wanted to get another shot of it just because I like the color and I like everything else about this car. Okay, so you're going to see a whole bunch of cars in the video, including this 1963 Studebaker in that nice tan color. All original 63 Studebaker. I'm not sure when they were discontinued, possibly in the early 60s, but if anybody knows about it, then please throw a comment on here. I also can't get enough of pretty much chrome everything on this car, from the door handles to the tail lights, and of course the rear bumper, and then there's the fuel door, and then there's the V8 emblem right here. 1997 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am convertible with a 6-speed manual and a 5.7 V8. This thing goes like an animal, I bet you, because of its aggressiveness. Love that color, though, on that Firebird Trans Am. And then next to the Trans Am is a new generation Corvette in gray with a red leather interior. It's pretty sweet. Love the color. And then the cowl induction on the hood as well as the new Corvette logo on the front. It's pretty sweet and I love these chrome wheels too. You're gonna see a whole bunch of Corvettes including this brand new 2023 in blue. So stick around. Okay, so I'm walking around the car show and it's such a beautiful day out because it's a perfect day for a car show and what could be better? Just walking around a bunch of Corvettes and there's an old Thunderbird right here. But let's not forget this Duramax diesel, this white one. Can't forget the Duramax diesel. Nor the 79 Camaro with a 4 speed. Nor this 1965 Plymouth Fury convertible. That beautiful striking red color. Gotta love it. 1994 Ford Mustang. And 2014 Mustang convertible. And then a 1999-04 Mustang Coupe. And then this 1969 Chevrolet C10 dragster truck with that big engine right there. I can't imagine how many drag strips that this truck went to, but I'm going to imagine it's a few because this truck is definitely drag truck worthy. 
And I love the words Chevrolet embossed in blue. This truck is definitely awesome for the drag shows. So yes, you're going to see a whole mix of cars as I have mentioned, from Corvettes to Subaru Impreza, WRX, Mustangs, old Camaros, and then a whole bunch of other muscle cars as well. So what a good turnout so far. And then there's that red Mazda Miata, which is a first gen. And then a 66 or 67 Malibu convertible. It's a Chevelle, but it's a Chevelle Malibu. And I love that blue color. Gotta love the classics. And another shot of the Miata. And then there's that 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner with the nice green color and the vinyl interior. This car has been well kept up, all original and not beat up. There's that six pack, you'll see the six pack engine in here. Gotta love that engine right there. And if you want to look at the proof about this car, it is right here on the windshield. Pause the video and take a look at it. It's got all the documentation and everything from the original owner. And then this Roadrunner logo, which is nice. And then here's the Olds Tornado, which is the earliest version because it's a 66. First year made. And I love that blue color with the blue interior. Very nice. And then the word Oldsmobile right here. Love the hidden headlights. I love these chrome outside mirrors and the chrome door handles, which is nice. And then there's another shot of the 66, which is nice. Okay, so I'm looking over the mixture of cars, including that white Corvette. And then the, you'll see the, you'll see more of them coming. So, as I'm walking around, I was just checking out this old white convertible that I had my eye on, as well as that Fox body, that black one, which is an 89 with a 5.0 and 5-speed manual. This Mustang made me miss our 86 that we had, except ours was a 3.8 liter with a V6 and automatic. We sold it years ago because of the frame rot. Gotta love New York winters. But anyways, there's another shot of the Black 89 Fox. And then there's a 1968 Mercury Cougar with a Cobra jet engine. And that awesome interior. The Eliminator. That used to be called Cater Lincoln Mercury, but it's now Steve Ponte Ford because, well, Steve Ponte Ford Lincoln because Steve Ponte brought out that name from a long time ago. So. And then you'll see this rat rod with the customized interior, including the custom leather seats. And I love that flame work on it. So that's cool. 
Gotta love it. Gotta love the chrome wheels on it too. And then there's a 1987 Buick Grand National, which has the 3.8 liter turbocharged V6. The whole entire interior is all original, including the factory stereo. Very impressed with it. Very nice. And then there's the yellow. <clears throat> I forget what coupe it is. I didn't even look at it, but it's definitely a rat rod coupe. Because I love that yellow paint. So, that looks good. And if you got to check out the engine, that engine's got to be the coolest thing in the world, as is the interior blueprint. Very nice. Then over there is the first generation Corvette, which is a 1959 model year in silver and black with that awesome engine. Of course, this is the first generation and the last year of it was 1962. But I love the Chevrolet Corvette logo on here and pretty much chrome everything on it. I could look at that engine again and say how awesome it is. And the interior is awesome on it too. Very impressed with it. And then there's the new 2023 Corvette. Actually a couple of them next to each other. So... I get to see a new Corvette for the first time and check out this engine right there. It's gonna make a ton of horsepower. And that interior is so cool with all the creature comforts. And in a moment you'll see the blue Corvette next to this one. But wow, that's nice. 70, this is the 70th anniversary model. Love these seats. Very impressive what Chevrolet is doing with the Corvette. I love the red inserts on the wheels. And then there's the all new 2023 Corvette in blue with the white stripe, uh, the black stripes, I mean, meant to say. And then there's Smurfette chilling in the Corvette. Again, 70th anniversary edition. Blue Corvette with black stripes. And I love this engine layout. That's so cool. Both of these Corvettes have to be animals going down the road. Especially based on how good they sound with their exhaust systems. I hope everybody enjoyed the video of the uh, muscle cars and the different types of classics. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that way you'll be notified of any videos that I upload. Also don't forget to look, check out my second YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below this video. And I hope everybody has a good day, evening, or wherever you are. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.